So you've heard about the power of Twitter's custom audiences. See this promoted post. Facebook, they do tailor audiences where you can upload basically exactly who you want to advertise to with as few as 100 email addresses, 100 Twitter handles, or 100 Facebook handles. And this means that you can get it from pretty much anywhere. So this is going to show you how to search and scrape from any resource to build out any audience that you want to quickly with just the power of your browser and a crawler and a spreadsheet tool like Excel or Google Sheets. So this is the Daily Egg, they're a marketing blog and I've decided that I would really love to advertise to all their guest writers. Every day they have a guest writer and they're usually a copywriter, a website designer. You know, if I were to advertise some of my marketing material to them, they might link out because they're writing these guest posts everywhere. Anyway, I just want to get in front of them. So I'm going to use this as an example. And the first thing is to find a footprint that will give you a large list, a large URL set to scrape. And a footprint is just a any commonality that you can search for in Google. And if you look at his name, you'll see down in the bottom right corner that the URL, that his author URL, has this author bit in it. So I am going to Google all the blog, basically all the authors on the Crazy Egg blog. Ah, look at this. So I do site, so I'm looking at the blog, Crazy Egg blog, and I'm looking at in URL, so in the URL it has to have author. So you see every single author has their own page. So this is the footprint that I'm looking for. And you can do this anywhere, you know, if you go to inbound.org, which is like a marketing social network and you look at the members uh, see here's the footprint see all of their members it is this inbound.org slash in slash username and then on that page they have a link out to their Twitter Facebook LinkedIn same here Jacob has a link out to his LinkedIn his Twitter Facebook and his website. So again, so you're looking for a footprint, a common set of pages that are also linking out to something like Twitter or Facebook. Because what we're going to do, we're going to crawl all these pages for links out to their Twitter handle page. Same way with this. See, we're going to crawl this page and get all the pages that have a link out to their Twitter handle. So what we'll do, again, we Google this in your author and we're going to have a tool called scrape similar uh, you can find a link to it in the video description or on the post and we're going to scrape similar and this is going to scrape all these links in the Google search results and we're going to export to Google Docs because we're going to have it all these URLs in our spreadsheet so we have this spreadsheet created so we have a hundred and I went ahead and scraped the other page so we have about 148 author pages all these URLs but again we need to be able to get their Twitter username off of it so we're going to copy all of this into a scrape into a crawling tool like Screaming Frog we're going to go into Screaming Frog change it to list mode and then we're going to upload the list paste in that list of URLs and Screaming Frog is going to crawl all of these pages and most critically it's going to crawl all of the outlinks so on all the links that are linking out that are on this author page which you'll remember will include his Twitter handle page so we're going to take that and go up here to reports bulk export export all the outlinks and you're going to get a giant spreadsheet that looks like this and what I do is basically filter the destination for anything that has twitter.com copy this list over to a new sheet called Twitter handles use find and replace to kind of clean it up to clean up the addresses so that you just have twitter.com slash username and then you can copy this over and just swap twitter.com with the at symbol so that you have a long list of it turns out to be 107 once we remove 
all the duplicates, 107 your, uh, u Twitter usernames. Then we just copy this list of Twitter usernames into a text edit. You can also save as a CSV, but I'm going to save this as a crazyeggwriters.txt, where it's just a list of every single one of these, and again, 107 or so. So we have that saved to the desktop. And then the last step is to go to as.twitter.com, go to your account, go to audience manager, which is under tools, go to create new list audience, name it, select Twitter usernames, choose the file that contains your list, open it, and create list audience. It's uploading and in a few hours, Twitter's gonna do their magic and you will have a list of crazy egg writers or, or whatever list you wanna scrape as a group that you can advertise to. And you'll also see that Twitter will take these usernames. You can create a lookalike audience. So Twitter will look for other users that are very, very similar to this set and create a lookalike audience that you can also advertise to. And again, you can do the same thing with Facebook. Uh, the critical thing is to find some sort of footprint on a website where you can quickly scrape it scrape their Twitter usernames, Facebook usernames, and export all of that to a text file.